Hi, my name is Eline Schreuders and I'm a research physician at the Department of Gastroenterology of the Erasmus MC Rotterdam in the Netherlands. This video abstract relates to our review entitled Colorectal Cancer Screening, a Global Overview of Existing Programs, which was recently published in the October 2015 issue of GUT. Colorectal cancer is the third most common malignancy in the world and it's the second biggest cancer killer in Europe. And colorectal cancer is more than any other malignancy suitable for screening. And this is because of its high incidence and high associated mortality and the fact that colorectal cancer is for a long time preceded by a non-malignant precursor, the colorectal adenoma or polyp. Indeed, population screening has proven to significantly reduce colorectal cancer related mortality. And although there are uh, frequent reports about colorectal cancer screening activity in different regions or countries, we lack the complete overview of the current state of colorectal cancer screening worldwide. For this purpose, we took to the initiative to provide such an overview. We therefore contacted contact persons of the Colorectal Cancer Screening Committee of the World Endoscopy Organization, health authorities and screening organizations. And we also performed a literature review. One of the first conclusions is that there is large variation with regard to implementation of colorectal cancer screening and the type of screening test used. In Europe, 24 out of the 28 European Union countries have implemented a screening program. The screening programs can be divided into organized or opportunistic screening. In 2015, most European countries have implemented an organized screening program or are beginning to implement organized screening, indicated with the green color in this figure. Nine countries have an opportunistic program in place, indicated in orange. In the Americas, most regions or countries have an opportunistic screening program. The darker orange color shows that these regions screen mostly by means of colonoscopy. In general, it was seen that most countries with an organized program use a non-invasive stool test, mostly fit, and most opportunistic programs screen with colonoscopy. For the Western Pacific, Southeast Asia and Eastern Mediterranean region, it is clear that there is less screening activity, indicated by the gray color. Countries that do have an organized screening program mostly use FIT. This is the case for Japan, regions of China, South Korea, Thailand, Australia and New Zealand. In conclusion, despite major changes over the last 15 years, there still remain a lot of countries without colorectal cancer screening. And this is despite the fact that these some of these countries do have a high incidence or mortality for colorectal cancer. As expected, colorectal cancer screening programs have been more frequently implemented in Western countries with higher incidences and more available resources. The future challenge is to evaluate the need for colorectal cancer screening in a given country and, if indicated, to choose a tailored colorectal cancer screening program for which the uptake is high. Furthermore, International screening indicators should be reported to allow for international evaluation of the quality and outcomes of screening. This publication is part of a platform and continuous effort to keep the information on colorectal cancer screening up to date. We would very much appreciate your input. For research related questions or information, please contact us at crc.screening at erasmusmc.nl. Thank you for your attention.